take a look at this when we are lightning our scene everyone talks about the three point lightning but here's the thing why am i using four lights here and to answer this question i believe i will show something that no one is showing in the 3d community most of people will say something along the lines okay let's start by the he light you should not start with the key light you should start with the ring light here in Blender, I have this add-on called Light Studio, where I have a lot of those realistic lamps, which is perfect for rendering products inside of Blender. You select the light and it really looks like the real deal. This Studio Light, I really recommend, the link is down below, but if you can't afford this add-on, no problems, just use the Blender lights, okay? It's fine. Anyway, without further ado, let me show what I mean by start with the ring lights. So I have the monkey here and the first thing I would like to do for my monkey is exactly what my selection button in Blender is doing for me right now. It's creating an outline around my object. This outline is not only for separation from the background. This is an incomplete explanation. The real purpose of this is to review the form of the object by the outline. And this is different from separation from the background. I will select a lamp here. The lamp I will select is this one, the LED panel. This is one of the lighter ones. And now you can see that by lightning in this corner, now I have some definition on the corners of my object. I can understand the volumetrics of this ear, the background. One of the most important things we have here right now is that we can see a separation between the front of the head of the monkey and the back by having a dark thing in the front side and a lighter thing in the background, which is the type of contrast we look on a figure and ground inside of form theory or gestalt theory. This first ring light is drawing to me these corners here. I can perfectly see what's the difference between what is in front and what is in the back. I will select the monkey again, add a new light, select this light and put here behind again. Okay, check it out. This is a black spot. This is a white spot. This is the start of the corner of the ear in the monkey. I don't need to have a light going all the way around here to understand that this part connects to this part. This is a concept on form theory called continuation or continuity. You don't need to put a ring light around all the, your object like the selection on Blender. You just need to put some hints about the form. So let's continue. I can see most of the top part of my monkey, but the lower part is completely un but the lower part is completely invisible. So let's add another light. I will add this one here. Let's take it and put it put it below here, somewhere around here, behind the monkey. We can increase the intensity if you want. And now I will hide this light clicking in this button here in the add-on just to make things a little bit easier to see and take a look at that you can see that now we have a perfect highlight around of our object but we don't need to draw every single corner of this object we just need to use the gestalt theory the continuity stuff where it's hard to understand only by using those three lights I'm really struggling to understand what's going here in this corner. It's really hard for me to understand because we have two dark spots closer to each other. So what should we do? We should make one of those spots lighter than the other. And to do that, you can just move this light a little bit further and it's done. Just by continuity now, I can understand the form. I have a figure and a ground. And I know I use the concept of figure and ground in this weird way where anything is a figure if it's ahead and anything is a ground if it's behind. Yes, I know it's weird, but for all purposes, I think this is a perfect way to think because, because everything on 3D is about to deliver what is in front and what is behind, figure and ground. So in my head, makes sense. 
comment down below if it, it doesn't make sense for you, okay? <laughs> I'm really looking the final result here. I think we have a really good highlight of this monkey. But now it's finally the time to add the key lights. And to use the key light, I will use this one here. I think this photo strobe is white and really interesting actually. So, so let me add it real quick. Check it out. The lamp is completely in front of my monkey. When you are adding the key light, you need to understand that your key light now is working with the shadows of your object. And we use here the highlights to draw. Now with the key lights, we need to use the shadows to draw. So pretend that you are drawing with a pencil. Your pencil is black. If you try to if you try to make the shadows, you will move your pencil fast to make the shadows darker and darker, right? If there is no shadows, there is no form. This is the same principle, you know? So, to make it really interesting, we need to move somewhere around here, 45 degrees of the head of the monkey. Because, because every shadow will draw the form of the monkey, as you can see. The form of the nose is drawn because of the shadow. Look here, we have a small corner of the mouth and here the shadow of the nose following along the mouth or the top of the mouth actually is drawing the form of the monkey. Everything is working together to reveal the form of your object. If you don't do that with your product renderings, your product renderings will look CG and will just suck. <laughs> Simple as that. Because this is the way you need to review the form so people can see what you are doing. <laughs> okay, this position I think is good enough. But now uh, you can see that we have this huge dark spot here, okay? And this is showing nothing. If we just think about this area here, it's just pitch black, it's invisible. Uh, we, we can't see the form here, it's just bad. So, what are we gonna do? The simplest thing to do would, would be to put a few light, but I'm sure that a few light here will just suck, it will be just ugly. Take a look at that. I will take one of those lights and I will put, I will just shift D this thing, it will make, it will be buggy because uh, it will want to appear here, so it's better to do things inside of the end of bus. Like, as you can see, it's just flat you know that is that is not going on here and we create a shadow here in the ear the ring lights disappear so no the, in my opinion no just no what we can do what about a reflection plane if we are using blender you can just put a plane below, below your object to reflect the light but as i'm using the light studio add-on link down below okay i can just take this reflector here which is something like a, an aluminum foil i don't know add this thing to my scene let me take this and i will put this object below my monkey here and also a little bit closer let's increase the size and check it out i can just increase the size of the reflector or decrease it and we have a few light that is not exactly a few light. Take a look at this. That's, that's insane. <laughs> so for this position of this reflection plane, the important thing is to not flat it out. What I mean by flattening the form? I mean, when something is rounded and your lightning is make that rounded thing look like a flat plane, this is flattening. You are making something 3D look like a 2D thing. So if, so, so if for some reason things are getting too flat, what you should do is to move your light and look for a better position for your light. I think here this reflector is doing a really good job to show this area, to use this shadow to draw the eyes of the monkey. The only thing that I'm hating right now is this shadow here. So the end of the story here is not about to put lights, it's not about to separate something to the background. Background, just screw you, I don't care. What I care is if the volumes of my object, if the form, the 3D form of my object is being highlighted or hided. 
if the rounded looks round or if the rounded looks flat. This is what I'm looking for. Let's go back here for the iPhone thing. You can see those four lights and take a look at this. Every single one of those lights has a purpose and the purpose is the same. Look at that. First ring light, the first light I did. After that, a ring light for the phone in the corner. Look at this. This phone needs to show up. Look at this. This phone has no highlights to show this corner. I just see the face of the screen. If I turn it on, okay, now I have a perfect silhouette showing the corner of the phone. Now the key light, which is showing up everything. I think it's a little bit too bright, but whatever. Finally, look at the top another light to fill up the top of the scene and you can see that it's dark here a reflector in the bottom so this is my goal if i want i could delete this dome light to make something more dramatic but if i prefer to make the flat areas look flat one area and only one area i can turn on this thing and as you can see now this face is completely completely flat. In rendering in general, the best render is the render that's easier to understand. Remember, human brains are lazy. Good art is easy to read, okay? The link for this add-on is in the description below and I would love to know your opinion about the technique and the knowledge I just told you in this video, okay? And anyway, if you like this video, just subscribe, okay? See you later.